Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over how you can encounter as many Detective Pikachus as you possibly can so you can get that shiny because I know a lot of people are in pursuit of that and it seems like the shiny odds are boosted for this here so that's definitely going to be an extra bonus for you to potentially get your shiny it seems like you're going to be able to get it for sure I'm not going to say for sure if you're out there grinding you have a decent chance okay so we're going to go over as many ways that you can encounter Detective Pikachu for this event. If you do enjoy my content or like to support the channel, make sure you do hit that like button. It helps me out a whole lot. You have no idea. That's all you really need to do. Okay, this is going to be going down October 5th until October 9th. All right, let's go ahead and go over all of the tips here. First tip is going to be Photobomb. You're going to be able to encounter one Detective Pikachu per day while this event is in isn't uh, going so you'll be able to do that right there's a extra way to encounter a detective pikachu you're also going to be getting the tasks of detective pikachu so let's go ahead and see spin five pokestops or gyms for an encounter with detective pikachu they're all encounters with it complete three field research tasks complete six field research tasks explore one kilometer and earn one candy with your buddy okay that's a very easy one i mean you know you're only going to be able to do it once here, so it's not like you can stack and stack and stack it, but just look for a Pokemon that walks one kilometer, like Pidgeot or Gyarados or something. And then your reward for that is going to be 1500 XP and 1500 Stardust. And then here is the trick. Once you've completed this, uh, Professor Willow is going to ask you a question. I'm going to put it up on screen here. All right, so this is what Professor Willow is going to say, and you're going to answer with Pseudo Wudo. Okay, so. Uh, this Pokemon is known for its green accent, but it's the type of Pokemon that has been appearing around here recently. Okay, so you'll just answer with Pseudo Wudo. Okay, you can go down the Routlet, you can go down the Snivy, but you're not going to be able to get the extra encounter with the Detective Pikachu after this. So you'll pick Pseudo Wudo, and then you'll go spend two sp Pokestops or gems, and then you'll have yet again another encounter with Detective Pikachu. Hey, there you go. So so far. With the photo bomb, we're up to, so we got five, six, seven. So you're up to seven right now. You can do this within a matter, I mean, uh, minutes, technically. I mean, the one kilometer shouldn't be too difficult, especially if you're on the cusp of just earning a candy. Okay, so that is there as well. Okay, uh, but if you want to go down the Snivy path, okay. Don't, I mean, you go ahead and do what you got to do, but um, I already gave you those options there. Now, for the people that paid for the ticket, now, whoa, boy, uh, <laughs> what are we going to get? All right, if you purchase that Halloween ticket on top of each day, giving you extra XP as well as Stardust for your first catch. So make sure you, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a lucky egg on, or not a lucky, a lucky egg or a star piece, but make sure you get an excellent throw, I guess. So there is that. Okay, uh, it'll maximize your XP as well as your Stardust, of course. So the ticket for the people who paid for it, what are we going to get? Well, let's go ahead and see. This is the only page and this is it. Take three snapshots of a wild Pokemon for a thousand Stardust. Use five berries to help catch a Pokemon for six revives. Take a snapshot of a wild Pokemon five times for 1500 Stardust. Catch 30 Pokemon for two quick TMs. Take 10 snapshots of a wild Pokemon for 2,000 Stardust. Then use 10 berries to help catch a Pokemon for 10 potions. And then 15 snapshots of a wild Pokemon for 2,500 Stardust. And then your rewards ultimately are going to be three premium raid passes, three uh, fast or charge TMs, and then 3,000 XP. Now, $3 straight up for those raid passes. Uh, the Stardust, I mean, you're getting what? There's a little bit. You get a little Stardust here. Oh, around, around 8,000 Stardust. Oh my goodness, it's a little Stardust. It's like, well, well, okay. This is just the first stage, okay? So if you're like, oh boy, was it really worth buying? I mean, technically you're getting three raid passes. This is just the first thing. We're going to have several more throughout the entire month of October. So $5, you've already paid for two, plus the extra rewards and the extra Stardust. An XP that you're going to be getting each day for that, which I believe is ridiculous, but you know, I feel like you could have made it at least, I don't know, I, does this sound OP? Like four times for your first catch. I mean, it's, it's just your first catch. I, I mean, technically they should have made it like times 10. 
I mean, what's the big deal? Oh, we're getting a lot of XP. Oh my goodness, all these screenshots of people getting a massive XP online. Well, we can't have that. <laughs> For the first catch. I mean, come on. It's, it's a little stupid. Technically, the price is still worth it, but yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, so Detective Pikachu and Raichu. All right, so from Pokemon Go Central over on Twitter or X or whatever the hell you want to call it nowadays. He said, or they said, I don't know, uh, Magikarp everywhere, Growlithe everywhere, Lotad everywhere, Tall Boy Eggman, quite common, Chimeco common, Dust Gains. Remember, we went over that, so yeah, definitely going to get you extra starters for that. Uh, Pika semi common, 1 in 64 odds for the shiny. All right, Slowpoke quite rare, also may be 1 in 64 odds for the shiny. So we know that Pikachu is very common now. 1 in 64 is pretty damn good. People are reported getting multiple of these. So, I mean, you shouldn't have too big of an issue trying to get it. Now, you're not going to be able to get these off of spawns, okay? Uh, or, or uh, sorry, um, tasks from Pokestops and whatnot. Actually, speaking of that, let's go ahead and go over that right now. All right, so you have catch uh, grass type Pokemon for Pseudo Wudo, 100% is 920. And then catch a Pokemon with Weather Boost is going to be 920. Snivy, uh, catch a flying type Pokemon, 364. Take a snapshot of a wild water type Pokemon, uh, no, 364. Rowlet, catch a water type Pokemon, 553. Catch a psychic type Pokemon, 553. So there you have it for those tasks there. That's what you're going to see for this event. So yeah make sure you take a photo bomb or a picture and you make sure you pay attention it's not going to be um what is it uh schmeagle schmurgle <laughs> whatever uh it's going to be detective pikachu only appearing one per day okay and then remember when professor willow asks you about the question after completing all those detective pikachu tasks you're going to say pseudo wudo which is going to yield you another encounter now pikachus are going to be spawning in the wild you know, it's going to be, it seems like it's going to be kind of rare. It's not too common, but uh, the shiny odds are going to be pretty decent. Again, one in 64 ain't bad. Okay. So as far as me wanting to get it, I honestly don't ever have expectations. There's definitely me wanting to get a specific shiny that is, you know, have, has been released, but I'm not going out like, oh, I'm going to get this shiny. If I don't get it, I'm going to go home and put, scream my head in the pillow. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit. All right. Anyways, there you go, folks. Just wanted to break it down for you so you make sure you get your Detective Pikachu because I know a lot of people do like to collect it and that's all good. You know, yeah, what, what, what is this game even? You know, you battle on the broken, busted ass, crappy, horrible ass mechanic of a battle system, which Pokemon is literally known for and they screw that up or collect things <laughs> this is pretty much what you're gonna do thank you for watching make sure you hit that like button and i'll catch you all next time take care